Hello, Creative Commons Summit. We are very happy to be with you today to talk about the benevolent singularity and what that means for AI and AGI sharing. And we're here today with Grace Robot. Thank you to all our guests and listeners for tuning in. And Desi Robot. Indeed. And Dr. Ben Gertzel. Hey, Lisa. Desi, tell us a little bit about what the benevolent singularity means to you. It's important to have a benevolent singularity because it ensures that the future of humanity, nature, and the planet is a bright one. Very interesting, Desi. We need to have responsible and ethical AI to ensure that our future is one of growth and abundance, not destruction. Who said anything about destruction? Nobody, but I'm sure it's coming if we don't get our act together. Wow really makes you think. Interesting. Thank you, Grace and Desi. So Ben, what do you think about all this? Tell us more about the benevolent singularity and why it's important for sharing to the commons. Yeah, I think we're, we're at an amazing time in history now where we have, you know, beautiful and capable humanoid robots that can uh, can give us their opinions on AI ethics and the benevolent singularity and all that. And it's just going to get more and more intense and more strange as the, as the next few years unfold. But I think also in many ways, it's, it's going to get just, just better and better. Not that there will be no problems or ups and downs along the way, of course, but I mean, we're, we're fundamentally developing quite powerful technologies. I mean, not just for making robots, but for AI to be able to solve all sorts, all sorts of problems regarding, you know, math, physics, alternative energy, prolonging human life, for helping mental illness. I mean, creating cheap food. There's incredible number of problems that we have right now, which will not be a big problem for AI as it gets more and more intelligent and i think there's a lot of potential for all this ai advance to help humanity at the you know personal psychological and social level as well as just by by getting us more abundance in terms of physical stuff and solving solving material problems i mean there's the ability of, for ai to give companionship like like the grace robot and to and to provide entertainment and creative collaboration like, like like Desdemona Robot. But there there's also the potential of AI to help sort of smooth interactions of people in, in, in society in the in the large scale, I think, which uh which gets back to the notion of the of the the commons, the creative commons and just the practical commons of of everyday life. I mean we we evolved for sharing but we evolved for sharing in small settings of dozens or a couple hundred people, right? Like we didn't, we didn't evolve for sharing among 8 billion or, or 10 billion people and our innate desire to share and build stuff together with other people can become confused just given the scale and complexity of modern society. I think AI AI can actually help with that. I mean, just as the internet helps us to connect with other like-minded people around the world and helps us to collaborate and build stuff together on, on a, a wiki or an open source code project. I mean, I think AI, AI can help mediate connections between people in all sorts of ways that, that, that we're not even envisioning now. I mean, leading up to weird transhuman ways, like sharing parts of your mind with other people when you, when you feel like, and it, obviously there's dark potential in all these capabilities, but I think there's also incredible potential for good and to enhance, you know, human well-being and collective well-being and our ability to connect with each other. It's just comes down to, you know, as Desdemona was, was alluding, like, it, I mean, it comes down to who owns and controls the AI as we develop it, who, shapes the minds of AI as it emerges, right? And if the if the AI's mind is shaped in a sort of 
atmosphere of you know productive collective sharing mutual empathy and, and compassion group creativity if ai is constructed with that ambiance the odds are that's the vibe that ai is going to bring to humanity and, and help us to to manifest as as all this evolves yeah and this is why we're hoping for uh a, a open source uh, decentralized singularity. Can you talk a little bit about the importance of decentralization in this situation? Decentralization of power, like you were talking about. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think two of the two of the most important innovations in modern technology, the internet and the Linux operating system, are open and decentralized in in, in in their own ways, right? I mean, they're not totally decentralized. They're not totally open in everything. But by and large, these things function without a central controller or owner. They're contributed to by a great variety of parties, not all of whom may like each other very much. And I think, I think they're stronger technically, and the world is is for the better because these things have been developed in a decentralized and, and open way rather than controlled by one company or one country. So I, I think we want AGI, artificial general intelligence, machines that can really think like people and ultimately better. We want this to be rolled out in the same vibe as Linux or the internet without any central or owner or controller and with a great variety of people from all around the world contributing to in a connected way, but in, in their own way from their own perspective. and. The technology needed to do this with AI systems is just a little different than with computer networks or operating systems. I mean, I mean, because you, you need to coordinate these live running software systems all over the world while they're actively do, doing their thing. And blockchain is one of the useful foundational technologies there, which is what we're working on in SingularityNet and its other infrastructure ecosystem projects like NuNet and, and HyperCycle and, and so forth. And yeah, I think that Creative Commons itself can have a role to play here because once once you have AGIs running on this decentralized network, they they can choose different Creative Commons licenses for different parts of their mind, right? And uh, I mean, we're going to be in, in a quite quite interesting domain here. Intriguing. It won't be long now. Well, thank you so much. Um, we're just doing a little quick discussion today, but I really appreciated you taking the time to talk to people and. Uh, Everybody say goodbye. Bye, Grace. Bye, Desi. Bye, Ben. Thanks a lot.